Hello, and welcome to the High Desert Gaming Society. I'm Roger, and today I'm here with Terry. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to um, go through game run and gameplay with uh, the Tin Goose. And uh, Terry's going to help us out here, and we're going to get through this. So you can see, we've got the game set up for three players. And we're just going to work through the two of us playing as a ghost player for the third player. We've laid out the cards for, what do you call these, Roger? These are airmail route cards. The airmail route cards. You bid to start the game by picking one of these. And there's a, a bidding war that goes on. We'll just have to work that out for the third yeah. player. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And we'll just run through it. The nice thing about this is, is early on, is if you can complete your airmail route, it'll kick you a bonus of 40 bucks, which is very valuable at the beginning of the game. So we'll just start up and go through it. Okay. Okay. Um, so the first thing we got to do is bid. So Terry, you want to make a bid? I sure will. Te I'm looking at the technically board. You're supposed to, technically, you're supposed to keep your bids uh, secret. We're going to kind of play sort of open with this so you guys get a feel for what we're doing and how the game is played. Okay. I'm going to bid $10. Do I have to specify a specific route, or nope. do I get to pick after The winner right? gets to pick, that's right. Okay, so we're going to play the uh, ghost player, and he's going to just put a dollar out there. That'll be his bid. My bid would be $3. So, Terry's got the winning bid. Well, hooray. I like the way that worked out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going to work through this. So, so I'm going to put right there, and then take one of these routes. All the money goes see back into what's it. out there. You know what? Just for quick and easy, I'm going to take out west. San Francisco to Spokane. So that's going to be right here, all the way up to here. I think that's doable. And I'll place that here in front of me. Okay, since I was the second bidder, I'll go ahead and take Charlotte to Miami. And so, and, okay. Well, I'm the second bidder, so I'll kick this card. Okay. And I'll, and I'll go Charlotte to Miami. And what you do is once you take your airmail route card, you should put uh, an airplane down where your first city is listed on the card. And I'm starting on Charlotte, so I'll go ahead and put my turn marker there. Okay. I'll take him away. And then we have uh, the ghost player who's going to take a card, and we'll just say he takes the Omaha to Dallas route. The extra card goes away. So... The Omaha, I'll take that. The o oh, you keep that. That's your. Yeah, there you go. And then the airmail route card goes here. And this guy will start in Omaha. And uh, let's see, Omaha is right here. And he wants to go to Dallas to complete his airmail route to uh, collect his $40 bonus. Okay, so now we've determined uh, the starting order and where we're going to start at. So the next order of business would be. My turn one. Terry's turn. So on your turn, you can do one of five actions, which are here on your card. You've got advance income, place a plane, take a labor chip, issue a bond, or international service, which is up here. At the end of the game, it gives you extra points. And also, we, we also got to play an arrow card as well. And we've got to start by looking at our golden era cards. Now, if you've got an event card, you have to play it. Is that correct? That's correct. If you have an event card, you must play that card first. Well, I'm excited about that because I'm going to play right off the bat, Strike. So, we're going to bid Labor Chips. This guy needs two, and I don't have any labor ships, so I will take two as well. Okay, so those are these markers here. Each of the players are going to take them in their hands, and then they're going to show them simultaneously. The person with the highest bid is going to win the strike and get a bonus. The other players are all going to suffer the consequences. So, here we go. Oh, boom. Okay. Well, okay. That's, that's the way this works. Okay, interesting. So, the ghost and myself bid two, and we won the strike. 
I am the loser of the strike. So the consequences are written on the card. You're going to lose $10, and each of us will gain $10 because we tied. Well, that was no fun. Okay. It was okay. And that goes away. Now on to my actions. I have to advance my income marker one. Because of this card, which one is it? I know there's a card in here that forces you to do that as one of your actions. Advanced income. Advanced income. Yep. Then I'm going to take a plane. That would be out of my hand, right? Oh. That would be, that would be off that card right there. You can place a plane. How do I get more planes? Well, you by bidding, once oh, you, you gotta play, you gotta play your action card I first. The action card first. Play the action card first, and then uh, hopefully someone will come along down the line that will be able to put a card out there that we can all bid on. So I can place a plane. Absolutely. Okay, so I'll do that, and I'll go right here to Portland, and I'll take two demand tokens off the board. Do I go up two for that? You go up two for that, and also you will collect income for that. That's right, and it's one times your income per demand token. So that would be four times two is eight bucks. So I'll other. take eight bucks, and then for my last action, Going to take a labor chip. Probably right. I'm going to pay ten dollars. And oh, it taught. Oh, it costs two. So I wanted to buy into the international track, which gives you victory points at the end of the game, but it costs two of your actions to do, and I only have one action left. I don't have another plane to place. I'm simply going to advance my income again, and I'm done. Okay. Well, I've kind of looked at uh, our ghost player here, right? and there's only one card he can play, and that is going to be an oil card. Ah, so we have another issue that we got to deal with before we can start bidding on airplanes. So this oil card will cost you $2 for every barrel of oil in your fleet. So you look at your tri-motor, and the bottom of your tri-motor card has three barrels of oil. That's three times two, which will be um, six, bucks. six bucks. And that's what we have to pay. Yay! Economics. Economics. Okay, now next... Um, the ghost player. Did the ghost has, player pay his six bucks? No, the ghost player did not pay his six bucks. Okay, you gotta well, make sure that gets done. Absolutely. Ghosts cheat. Okay, so um, the ghost player's first play will be uh, a first action card, and he's got to take uh, his income. It's gonna it's gonna be the income, he's gonna take that. We'll move right up one. Move him up one, and that is one of his actions. The next action he's going to do is probably going to put a plane out, wouldn't you think? I would think that would be good. He's going to put a plane out. And what he wants, completes, completes well, he wants to route. go to Dallas. He wants to go to Dallas to collect his income. So, so the logical route and only move, really, yep. is to right here. Yep, that's quick and easy. Quick and easy. Now he gets a victory point for that. He gets a victory point for that. And really there's not a whole lot else he can do. So he's going to draw a labor, uh, a labor chip. For his third action. For his third action. And he's done. And he's done. So that brings us to my turn. So I've looked at my cards here. And um, luckily, we can put a uh, we can put a fleet of airplanes out here up for bid. Ah, now I'm something gonna, to bid on. Now I'm going to put a plane up for bid. And the first person to my left will be the first person to bid, which will be Terry here. So we're going to be bidding on a Lockheed. A Lockheed Electra, and it's a small plane which will only travel 
the black roots are the lines with the black root because it's a, it's a small plane. Okay, it has one barrel of oil and three flames for safety and hazard. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead. This, one, this card goes away. I'm not super excited about that plane, but I don't want you getting it for free. Okay. Especially because you're liable to cheese the ghost bid. Okay, well. To favor yourself. Okay, well, we so, are learning, uh, but that is, that is something that I, okay, I we'll, would we'll, do. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll okay. see how this goes. I'm going to say at least $12. I'm going to say $15. 15 bucks on that plane. You're going to say $15. I think the ghost should bid that up a little bit. You think so? Okay, well, we'll, we'll let the ghost bid it at 16 I say 33 33 <laughs> Okay. How about, how about 17 Okay. Well, 17 we'll, we'll play the ghost at 17 17 Yeah, he outbid me by two. And so he gets three back. Is he going to buy it? We're selling oh, the plane oh, oh, to the oh, ghost? Oh. Uh, yeah, because I'm not going to bid that. Interesting. Okay, I like that. So the ghost will end up with a second plane, and immediately he'll put two planes on it. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. And one other major thing, when you add a fleet... Ah, he you, gets to get rid of one of these negative cards. One of these nasty cards can go away. So which one would you pick to go away first, Terry? After having played through it, I really thought some of the first ones that were nice to start with were the ones that gave you money at the beginning of the game. That is sweet and valuable. So I like this one. But I didn't, I didn't win a single game when we played through. Uh -huh. And I noticed the winners were usually getting rid of the hazards rather than taking the money. Mm -hmm. So why don't we get rid of the four fire? Okay. Okay. That sounds, that sounds like a good choice. We'll get him out of the way. Okay. So he doesn't have that negative effect anymore. Okay. So now we're still in my turn. Um, we've gotten, we auctioned the plane. I will take one point for my advanced income. That's which is purple. I get to do that. Uh, my next option, well, I, was, I will place a plane. Makes sense. And I am, my email route is to Miami, so uh, I guess we'll just head that direction. Do you have an email route? I'm sorry. Is it an airmail route? I guess so. <laughs> airmail route. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for, for clarifying I just that. thought I'd point that out. Yeah, yeah, you know, thank, thank you. Air, air mail. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> okay, so Thank I'm you. going from Charlotte to Miami in my airmail route. I've laid my first plane. Uh, I'm not <sighs> going to get a bond issue. I only have one play left, so logically my last play would be to take a, a labor bond, a labor chip, I'm sorry, and uh, that will conclude my turn. And now the round would start again, obviously. Okay. So it goes back to me. And I've got two cards. If I have a second event, do I have to play? Yes, sir. Are you making that up? No, I'm not. Okay. Although, you know, seems like to me some of the rules in this game could be interpreted to a house interpretation type oh, thing. I think you could do that anytime. Yeah. But for the beginning stages, <sighs> crash. So this is kind of nasty. We have to pay $2 per hazard marker in our fleet. So you look here, and you'll notice your plane has three hazard marks on it. And I still carry the card that is a regular safety procedure. That's an additional four times $2. I have to pay $14 in damages because of that. For me, that will be... Uh Seven. What is it? Two dollars per two dollars per marker. Yeah, it's two bucks. You're going to be fourteen. Fourteen like also. Right now, okay. the ghost he got rid of that nasty four point card, so he's actually only going to pay three. Mm -hmm. He's got. He did buy. He buy. He bought a fleet also. Oh. So he yeah. has six showing, and that's one thing we're not doing. Is we're not adjusting our incomes or our hazard track here. And we need to do and that. We need to do that because that's important. So now so, he's at six. So technically he drops back one because he got rid of his uh, 
His hazard card. He actually dropped back four. Or dropped back four. So he would drop four spaces because it's got four points One, on it. Isn't two, that correct? Three, four. Okay. Correct. However, he purchased this plane which has three markers on it. So he's going to go up three more. So that leaves him at six. Okay. And we're both at seven. Seven. Four and three for our planes. All right. Okay, so I've got three actions. The first one has to be advance my marker. I don't have any planes to place. So this is the time I could because we should have moved this marker up when we went right, right, yeah, beginning should, my yeah, turn. At the beginning should turn. have gone to the next phase. Right. This actually goes away. Goes away. So I'm going to use my two remaining points to actually reach up to Denmark. It requires a small plane and it'll cost me ten dollars for this international you, route. You don't have, oh, okay, yeah. I'm using both of my actions because it takes two actions to do it. So I'm going to spend ten bucks and I can put a plane right up here. Now that's an extension move. Is it? That's an, that's an extension move. Okay. Um, with an extension move, I don't think you can do that on an international track. It's not an international track or an extension, I'm thinking. I had three actions to play. Yeah, but you didn't have a plane on the board because you've already put two planes out. Oh. See, he only, see exactly see what you're saying. He's, 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 he starts with two he planes. He can only be one and two. Right. Okay. Now you pull that another, makes perfect sense. You can pull another plane off the board. I mean, as off, an extension. As an extension, but you cannot use um, an extension in the international track. So you can't play it like that. Because I don't have the planes. Because you don't have the planes. Uh, now, if you had bought a fleet, five. if you had planes over there, yep. then you could. Buy on the rules. Okay. So I'll run my marker back up and... I'll take a token. Now it's the ghost's turn. Now it's the ghost's turn. And the ghost is going to uh, have a fleet that he can auction off. Okay, very so nice. So it's a small plane, it uh, consumes one oil, it has three fires for the hazard trap. Okay, uh, one of the things we failed to mention at the end of our first round is uh, our ability to collect income. Now, technically, you should be able to collect income at the end of the round, but because everyone possesses a generous dividends card, it specifically says to skip income. So we're not going to get any income at the end of our round, so we just got to make do with what we got. And um, it's so we're going to start up right where we left off, which is basically the ghost player having thrown this plane out on the board, and everybody's going to get a chance to bid on it. So Roger starts the bid. What are you going to bid, bud? I'm going to bid uh, seven dollars. Well, playing kind of open and having completely depleted myself, I'm going to bid a whopping eight dollars. Okay. And I think we should play that the ghost passes. Well, the ghost does have a plane already. The ghost does have a plane already, but. You know, is he going to be a pig about it? Um, well, he could be. Do you think he should bid nine dollars on it? Seems like I, a good move. I think he should. I think he would. Yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, I'm going to get out bid. So we'll give him his change, and I think we're fixing to have our butts kicked by the by the ghost. By the ghost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now the next option. Now he does have the ghost does have an option at this particular moment in the game. This is an interesting he, point. He can uh, place this card and put two new planes down next to him, but he also increases his oil consumption and his hazard consumption. And so his this, hazards go and, up. And his hazards will go up. Now and, the nice thing about that is he would then get to remove one of these negative cards. That's exactly right. That's a beautiful thing. Right. Um, the other option he could do is he could replace his tri-motor uh, plane with this fleet, in which case he would not get any more planes down and he would not get to remove a card. But on the bright side, his oil consumption would go down. 
So there's plus and minuses to it. I, I think right now the best move for him, and you might agree, is to put another plane on the board. Yeah, and, he's going to put two planes down. And a, right. And then he's going to get rid of one of these negative effects. Now, what do you think we should give him? The money? Well, I think the money. I think the money is a good one to take because the first round and the blue round it'll give you uh, thirty dollars. If you wait till the blue round, it decreases to twenty, and then ten at the last era and the red. Yeah. So you. That's um, a good one. I I almost think it's smart to start being able to collect income, income at the end of each round and early on in the game. I agree. You already have so many rounds to collect income. I think you're right. I think that's a smart one to move. You want to go with that? I think we should go with okay. that. He'll get rid of that. All right. That'll allow that the ghost to start collecting income at the end of the round. At the end of the round. Now he's really going to be dogging us. Okay, so now uh, he has three actions to make. Right. First one, of them one will be the first one will be to turn his uh, money income up one. Yep. And the next one, I think he's got four planes on the board, so he's got to put some planes he's down. He's definitely going to put planes down. Yeah. So you would have to guess he would take two planes. Could we say one from each? Sure. Okay. That works. And then he's going to complete his airmail route by going to Dallas. Is That's that right. correct? That's correct. And he'll get 40 bucks for that. That's correct. 20, 40. And now this card can go away. Little bonus. Yeah. For making that. And that's and that's that was three, it. That's his that three was his moves. three actions. Okay, so uh, it's my turn now, and uh, I'm the last person in the round, so I have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put an airplane out to bed. This is a Boeing 727. It has a consumption of two oils and two flames, which uh, is not too bad. That, that's a little. That's an improvement. It's a balance. Some, yeah, it is a good balance. balance. Okay. Okay, so the bid would go to you. I bid first. I will bid a whopping $8. Well, somehow, since I spent some money somehow... Oh, because I lost the strike, <laughs> oh, I don't have the money to outbid him. That's interesting, because I won that strike. And you won the strike, I lost the strike, and because of that, it's showing up here later on in the game that he's going to get the plane, and, and so, I'm not. So I got a pass. Are we going to say that the ghost would buy a third plane, or do you think he's going to call himself good? Well, I think the ghost would probably call himself good because he still has two more actions okay. to put planes down on the board. So and I'm going to snake that route well, for and also, eight bucks. Also, one of the things we did not do for this guy is we didn't increase his hazard mark. Oh, there's hazard track. To do that. So, yes. One, two, three. And then while you're over there, run me up two for this little Boeing. All right, so he goes up to two. And I'll put two planes out. Oh, that was most satisfying. I am stretched, though. I am stretched. So three actions, and my first action has got to be that. I'm oh, what? Like this gives me the ability to get rid of a negative effect. I am also going to get rid of four hazards, please. Nice move. Okay, so drop nice me down four hazards. So he goes backwards. One, two, three, four. four. Excellent. That'll help me if there's a crash in the next era. All right. And then for my last two, um, yes. It, it, it is my turn. Oh. You got the planes. I got the planes. You got your planes. I got okay. all excited. You got all excited. It Sorry is, about that. It's all right. It is still my turn. Confusing. Of course, it's your turn. Yeah. So he bought my plane. So I, I can't Don't get it. Don't foolish. I can't get a plane. Sorry about that, Roger. I, I can, I can place a plane, an extension, and 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 I will do that. So what I can do is, even though I don't have uh, an extra plane on my tri motor. I can take a plane from my general uh, stack and I can place it on the board. And obviously I have to connect to an existing um, plane that I have. Now, the consequences for taking an extension is I have to take uh, an, extension, an extension chip. And that's a hazard. It's a hazard. So now he's going to go up one flame on the hazard chart. To go up one flame on the hazard chart. And it's also going to cost him one oil. 
right. which is right there, and it's sort of permanent. It's not going to go anywhere. That's got to go stay. away. So but since, yeah, go ahead. You got, you got an extension, though. Since I didn't have any planes on the board, I needed to try to get a plane on the board. Now, also, I still get to collect an income for taking in a new. Uh, you do. So for taking in a new city. You'll go up one. Uh huh. And uh, you get, do you get anything I, I, because and I, of? And I uh, get and I get paid. Yeah, I collect one income for that. That correct? is exactly what it is, and your income sits at four. Four. So you're going to get four dollars for that. All right. All right. Very good. And then, uh, so that's been two. Left. I have one left. Um, gosh, I could, uh, I could sure use the forty dollars. But if I did that, I would have to use another extension. Um, and my hazard rate. But I'm going to go ahead and do it because I'm already so far in the hole that I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and place an extension here. And I will take another hazard marker and put him there. And because of that, I complete my airmail route. Which will give you and 40 bucks. And that will give me $40. Nice. All right. All right. So um, also, that, your marker is going to go up one more. That's right. And I should probably collect the income for taking that city as well, right? Uh... Maybe not. We'll, we'll skip that. Okay. It doesn't have anything okay. on it. doesn't have anything it, on it. Right? Okay. It was right. empty. Right, right. Okay, it so was empty. your marker just goes up one. Okay. And is that it for your round two? I, I believe that completes round two. So it'll come back to me. So we ought to just play through real quick. All right. Okay. Let's play through. So I'm going to go and move the turn marker up three. I'm going to look at my blue cards, which Everyone I actually can. haven't done this yet. And you can discard your last yellow card as well. Right. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, I am going to put up a Boeing Straddle Liner. Okay. Okay, so, so the ghost is going to bid. He's got a bunch of money, He's dude. got a bunch of money. I haven't bid on that plane. He's got a bunch of money. Uh, dude. Yes, sir. He's gonna bid seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I'll bid eighteen dollars. Okay. Okay. So, you won that. That is all yours. Okay. Now this is a. Uh, we're in the blue era now. This plane is a medium plane, which allows him to move in different sectors. He doesn't have to follow. The black line, he can move into a neighboring sector without having to follow the main route. Yeah, instead of the black lines, he could go from like a large grid to an adjoining grid. Right. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take him. I will get two planes. My hazards go up three. Yay! One, two, three. But in the process, and I will put him over here so we can see it. In the process, I get to remove one of my cards here. Finally, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this hazard uh, card, and he's going to go away. So then I get to move my track back down uh, four. One, two, three, four. Back to where I originally started. Okay. Okay. Um, you still have the card that forces you to take. Well, but it's it's not my turn. It's your turn. Oh. I just I just won the bid on the plane. Yeah, thank you. So it bounces back to me. It bounces back to Terry. Okay, well, three actions. This is going to be pretty straightforward, I think. I am going to place, well, actually for my very first action, I have to run my economic marker so my income goes up, which is good. I'd really like to do that. Takes two need. moves. I can't because I don't have any money, so I have to do this. So I'll place a plane, and I'll take two markers, and I'll get paid. And that's six times two would be 12 bucks. That's a little something. But, and I didn't pay for my plane, so I need to do that. I bid 17 on it, so oh. I'll get three back. Thank you. Yeah. These will go away. I don't know where that went. These go over here. Okay, and then for my last move, I'll go here. And is it remove one when there's two? Yes. So I'll take this and get rid of it. 
and get paid an additional time. Oops, there we go. And I also would have pushed up my income twice by going into those cities. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to go to there, and I'm done. All right. So next is Blue Era, and he's going to take his turn. He's got to play a crash card. It's an event card. That's the first thing you got to play first. And so... Uh, I was hoping it, this would come up. It comes out to you have to pay a dollar for every hazard mark. Okay? Let me see, let me see this. Oh, except the lowest hazard mark gets two dollars or two victory points. Uh, that that would be um, marks on the income track. So my my income track for being the lowest on the hazard chart is plus two. Yes, sir. Okay. And red is the highest on the income track, so he will go back to. And since I was in the middle, all I got to do is pay the fine, and it's a dollar per hazard mark. And if you look over here, it gives us our numbers. Terry, you're at five. Got it. I am at seven, and red is at ten, so it's going to cost me seven, and it's going to cost red ten. Fine. Okay. Now, something that I forgot to do was remove is when I put this plane out I should have been able to remove a card and I didn't yeah. do that because I still have four out you oh I've only got one plane I did remove it didn't I yes sir yes, you oh did. okay yeah yep you removed it okay so we resolved this. Yes, it goes away. And that was and his play. And his he's turn. Got three moves. He's, and he's got three moves to make. Obviously, he's going to put a plane out, right? I, I couldn't see why he wouldn't. Yeah. He'd probably go down here right. to San Antonio, reach out for that. He'll get paid, also bump up. So two times three is six bucks. That would be one. Do you think he'd put down a second plane? I think he probably would. Yeah, we've been doing that. Do you think he might reach out here to try and grab this in Denver? It's worth extra points at the end of the game because it's a square space. Right. What do you think? Here? Sure. Okay. Right, let's do that. We'll put him there. And he'll go up one more. And collect income. And he'll collect income, so he'll get $4. Well, he won't collect income because there's not anything there, is that right? Uh, but at the end of his round? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's at the end of the entire, the end round. Of the entire round. Yeah, I pushed him up one. Oh, okay, so okay. That, that completes his round. Right. So it is my turn. And, um, oh, which one of these ugly ones do I play first? Oh, man. Uh huh. Did you pick? Uh, well, this got me messed up last time, so I'm playing a strike card. Okay. And uh, we all bid. We take our tokens, put them in our hands, everybody put them out. And of course, you've outbid us. I won the bid, and those go there. And so, so what is it? That will, okay, players hold, okay. Uh, plus 15 for the winner. That's you. Which is me. Very nice. And minus 15 to the losers. Minus 15 to the losers. Okay, point of order. I actually do not have enough money to pay what I owe. So, I have to take one of these. It's like a promissory note. Uh, it's a bond. So this will give me $40. $40. $40 minus my debt, which was... For what it is, I think, I think you... Uh, you get twenty dollars for it, but it costs you forty to pay it back. Really? I thought they were even, Steven. Okay, we'll play it that way. Okay, I'm pretty I'll sure. We'll play it even, Steven. So it's twenty dollars. So it's forty. Forty dollars. We'll this make we'll make it forty dollars. Okay. Then that's what you got to pay back. And it's what I owe at the end of the game. Right. Okay. So with that, I'm going to pay my debt, which was 14, and I'll be square. So that was a great card to start with. Thank you.
Uh-huh. Okay. What okay, else you got? So it's still my turn. Yeah. Um, I have two planes that I can actually put out. So I think I am going to go to the international tract. It's going to take up two. My two. First of all, I got to move You're going to have to go up. That goes up one. one. This will take up two turns. Yes. And cost me ten dollars. And cost you ten bucks. Now the advantage is, at the end of the game, you get bonus money for being up here. Yep, and so that'll be nice in the end of the game. That, that That's comes wise. up nice at the end of the ten. Yep. Okay. Excellent. And so you're done. That completes my turn.